Last time, we learned that the center is actually run by a bunch of assholes. This time, we're gonna go talk to them about it. Because seriously, they can't do this. Oh, pussies. Yeah, they've blocked off the entrance. So, what do we do now? Well, you wouldn't exactly know this right away, but you have to go to Holy Town, so... Yeah, I'll just cut ahead to when I get there, so... Hmm, this is fairly early and we've already got a cut. This does not bode well. Whatever, I'll meet you at Holy Town, so hold on. Okay, we've made it to Holy Town, and... Um, I get attacked. Okay, I wasn't expecting that, but whatever. I was considering cutting that out, but then I thought it would be kind of weird to step right out just to get into a random battle and another transition effect. Anyways, we're back in Holy Town. And Shadda gotta level up. More magic! Anyways, as you can see, it's all unfrozen now, so we can actually go to that place that had the frozen doors before. And there's a bunch of people here, but I don't feel like talking to them. Um, or maybe I do. Huh. Broadcast saying that Sin betrayed the center. We'll have to check that out, but not now. There's a couple things I want to do first. First off, and most Get important... Get into a random encounter, but not really. Anyways, here's somebody. Huh. Interesting, but I don't care. Anyways, there's a garage, but over here, there's a terminal. Now, a little embarrassing thing that happened to me when I first played this game. I actually missed this terminal, so... Uh, there are several points when you have to come back to Holy Town, and when I reached those points, I had to do a whole bunch of backtracking. And it wasn't until you a explicitly had to come into this room that I actually found this terminal. Basically, this building here has three entrances. Two of them lead into the same place, and I had just assumed, because I'm an idiot, that uh, the th this entrance just leaded into the same place. So, yeah, a lot of backtracking that I had to do. Having that terminal activated now will help a lot later. Anyways, we need some healing. Alright, another thing that's in here is there's a jack you, so if you need to do any fusing, be sure to take note of that. But, what we need to do, we do need to see that broadcast that's talking about sin, but not exactly right now. What we really need to do, because you have to come here eventually, is we need to go in here and we need to, need to go to a certain store. Uh, not... Um, sure. Why does everybody have to interrupt me? Anyways, what we're looking for is the junk store. Well, it's always the nicest guys who are... I don't know. He was actually an asshole, okay? Hmm. We're gonna actually have to head back to the Great Church later. But anyways, we need to go into this junk store. And you can buy anything. I'll buy Quintons. Basically, these just revive you back to full, I think. I know they revive you. And that's all we need to do. And because we bought something from him, he gives us a little gift for our patronage. He gives us the Mercury Pillar. That's the second pillar. We need these pillars, so be sure to collect them. Now, you may be wondering, well, what happens if I don't find these pillars? I mean, how am I supposed to figure these out? Well, I actually just found the place where you figure these out. Basically, at various places in the game, there are fortune tellers. And if you are really stuck, a fortune teller, they won't exactly tell you what you need to do, but they'll tell you where you need to go. So, with enough, with enough, um, well, just checking everything out, you'll eventually find what you're looking for. So yeah, that's how you're supposed to figure out what you need to do in case you're stuck. Anyways, there's a TV over here, so let's watch some TV. And basically, the, uh... Center is basically talking crap about Sin, saying he's a traitor and everything, spreading the false rumors and whatnot. 
And basically, they're going to have everybody look for him and try to get him busted. But, just then, Sin hijacks the airwaves. Nice hair. Anyways, he just, um, he mirrors his sprite, I guess for added effect. But he basically tells everybody that the center is saying a bunch of bullshit, and that they're going to kill everybody. So, they're only going uh, to pick the special few that they think are worthy, and then just leave everybody else to die. So, basically what Sin's trying to do is rally a force to fight the center, because he now realizes that they're a bunch of assholes. We will fight Abaddon later, but that's not until way later. Come on, Sin. I don't really care that much. We already knew this crap. But anyways, once you see that news report, you can get into a random battle, but not really. Anyways, once you... Um, oh, shit. I managed to work myself into a dead end by trying to be faster. Okay, the game is really trying to annoy me here. Anyways, once you see that news broadcast, you can go over here, and you'll meet up with Sin, and he's rallied a bunch of people. Yeah, um, okay, will you get out of my way? I've got stuff I need to do. He's basically saying the same thing that he just said on the TV, so he's wasting our time right now. Uh, a little. Well, that's good for you. Well, I guess it's nice to have somebody on our side. Okay, you continue to do that. So yeah, Sin has rallied his forces, but what do we do? Well, remember that guy in that building was mentioning something about the Grand Cathedral? I didn't exactly read it, so I don't know what he was saying, but... He was saying something about the Grand Cathedral. We need to head to the Grand Cathedral. So, guess what? More backtracking, so... I'll just cut ahead to when I get to the Grand Cathedral. Okay, we're back at the Grand Cathedral. Now, basically what we need to do here is get to the third floor. Now, we could go there before, uh, when we fought King Thro Frost, but, uh, if you did that before, well, uh, you'd just find some asshole and he'd block your way. Let's see, can I... Uh, I'm trying to be fast here, but it just seems to lead me to dead ends. Okay, what the fuck am I doing? Oh. Anyways, this is one of the assholes that would have blocked you. Basically, you would have met a guy like that, and he would have just told you to piss off. Alright, seriously, where the hell is the door I need to find? Oh, it was there! I'm just a fucking idiot. God, I hate my sense of direction. Anyways, second floor. At least I've mapped out a little bit of this place before, uh, when I was dicking around. Um, let's see. What the fuck? Um, okay. I swear, the lay layouts of these places just confuse me sometimes. As I was about to say, I think I'm on the right track. Let's see. Stairwell, where are you? Um... Oh, well, well, this is actually really important for later. Yes, I do. Well, he won't tell us what he's doing now, but remember that guy for way later, because it's incredibly important. He's got something that we want. Well, not really that we want it, but we need it for later. Come on, stairs, where are you? Don't make me look like a dumbass game. And another earthquake. Grand. Yes, here we go. Alright, third floor. We're starting to enter some new territory here. 
I believe there's a couple of incenses you can find here. I don't know if I'll go out of my way for all of them, but I may come back later to grab them. A metal card, that's useless. I don't know if I explained it before, but metal cards let you play a game called Codebreaker, and Codebreaker is not at all helpful. Though you do get to meet Mr. Nandi, and Mr. Nandi is a pretty cool guy. Hmm. I know I'll be on. I'll know I'm on the right track. Ah, I, actually, I think this is close to where we need to be. Yeah. Okay, this is another guy you want to remember. He says he's got a head. Now, why would we want to remember that guy? Well, you just do. Very important for later. And guess who we meet? Solar. And guess how we're gonna beat him. If you guess we're just going to fight him, you were right. I am. I do need a bit of healing, though. Anyways, this is actually the toughest Solar has been. Basically, uh, pretty much none of your demon's talents will work on him. Well, most of them won't. And, uh, I don't think guns work on him either, so you're pretty much left with no choice but to use your regular fight command. Actually, I really hope he doesn't hit Shadow, because it would probably kill her. But, he, because he missed, um, I'm pretty sure we can take him down now. And let's just auto-fight the rest of this. Yeah, not very tough. Though this is the toughest he gets. Yep. Solar is starting to realize how much he sucks. Anyway! Actually, I think there's an incense in here. Yes, intelligence incense. Very good. Alright, we're looking for an elevator. Like this one. Actually, no, not this one. This one just... Actually, no, yeah, that's the one we want. No, this is the one we want. Anyways, we can go down to B60 with this. What the hell? Anyways, this one takes a while, so guess what we're gonna do? Frame skip! Yeah, I'm not gonna talk for, through 60 floors, just so you know. That's just a degree of me that not even I can handle, if that makes any sense. Anyways, I don't think there's anything in here. Like I said, I don't think there's anything important here. Uh, I'm just checking for the sake of making sure. Oh, nah, there's nothing in here. But, where are we now? We've went down 60 floors. Whoa! Where the hell is this, you may be asking? Well, welcome to the bombed-out ruins of Tokyo. Yeah, as you can imagine, it's seen better days. So yeah, we're in Tokyo, the setting of the last game. And it's gotten significantly worse than it was then. I mean, in the last game it got nuked, but now it's just... Well, pretty much completely desolate. Does anybody live here? Well, yes. And we'll be meeting some of the peoples that live here next time! So until then... Um... Yeah, it's Tokyo. And it really sucks right now. So until next time, see ya.